August and I are here for chapter five, section one. First thing we're gonna talk about is the nth root of a number. We're gonna to turn to page 238 right now. I'm gonna do one and two, and you're going to do three and four for practice. All right, so for number one, the directions are kind of weird, but basically it's saying find the fourth root of 16. So first, I want you to write it down two different ways for practice. First way I want you to write it down is something that you've probably seen before. What is the fourth root of 16, right? Fourth root of 16. But I want you to know, and you might not have seen this before, that that's the same thing as saying 16 to the one fourth power. Oh, she wakes. Hey, hey, you wanna do roots? You wanna do roots with me and the kids? No, okay. So um, 16 to the one fourth power with the four in the denominator, that means the four came from the little root symbol right here, and it's the same thing. But really what you're asking yourself is what number times itself, times itself, times itself gets you 16 and the answer is two, all right? Likewise, for number two, it's asking us to find the second, which of course we call the square, root of negative 49. Now we wanna find the real answers to this, but I want you to get used to writing it. So we're asked to find the square root of negative 49. You've totally seen that before, but you might not have seen, make sure you use parentheses when there's a negative. To the, now square root is second root, so the second is in the denominator of the exponent. So this is the same as that. Now, of course, if we're looking for real roots, there is no square root of a negative number, so the answer is no solution or does not exist, all right? So that was one and two. If you need to go back and rewind, go for it, and then move on to three and four and check in for the next video.